Hey healthy buddies, welcome back to my channel. So today is an Ask Away Monday. My child is making noise, she's throwing stuff. It is creating an OCD because I'm trying to film and it's agitating me. But it's okay because that's how kids are and I just need to deal with it I guess. But today I want to talk about motivation. I have received a message on Instagram a couple days ago. Uh, and this person has been trying to lose weight for the past six months and keeps failing. She asked, how do I get motivated, Pat Mama? Well, I think there's two types of motivations, okay? Now, I'm not an expert. I don't have an initial at the end of my name, but I think this makes sense to me, okay? First motivation is knowledge, right? Something happens in our brain, it sparks, it. it's like, woohoo, excitement, because it learns something. And that, that starts motivating you, right? But I think, I think, what, 90% of the time, most of us can get that one, right? We can do that part real good. The one that kills us is the second motivation, which is the doing part. And for me, the last six days has been so helpful and why I'm able to do the doing part, the physical part of the motivation, like eating well, working out, staying focused, is because I'm learning about myself. I think really to answer the question is it's all up to you. You. It's all up to you. I can motivate the first motivation to you, and you can do that to me, but only you can do the second motivation, and that's the actual doing part. But what's helped me is I have journaled, so I think you should get a notepad. And I'm not talking about the people who have a medical condition, um, which like a thyroid, which is hard for someone to lose weight. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about us who are able to lose weight. And I think what helped me is the journaling. Now, I know in a couple days when I do my weigh-in, it's going to be a bad weigh-in. I know this. I have failed completely this past month. But for the past six days, I watched a video. It's called Pick, Pick Up Limes. I'll link it, link it in the below. And she got my first motivation going, right? I got rid of hunger, the word hunger. She said, look at those trigger words. Find those trigger words. I found them while I was writing. And that is hunger and hungry. When I say, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Um, I think I'm starving. I think I'm in starvation mode. And I go straight. I make a beeline to the fridge. But I know that that's not going to nourish my body. So I got rid of that word and started using nourish. And that has helped me greatly this past week. Not going to lie, I almost failed yesterday, but because I said, is this going to nourish me? No, it's not. I didn't do it. So I'm so excited about that, you guys. You don't even know. But what I did is I took what she said and said, okay, let me write this in my book. And I, I took and I took days and I just stayed really, really focused. And every time I went to the fridge to, to, to binge or to eat when I'm not hungry, I started writing down, why am I doing this? What, what's my emotions right now? And you start to learn more about yourself. Now, I didn't do that when I lost the 50 pounds before, um, Devin, because, frankly, my mind frame, my mental frame was a lot healthier. Um, I didn't take, I didn't have to take care of a child and a man. My life revolves around Carl and Devin, just like Carl's life revolves around me and Devin. And that, folks, mm -hmm, young men and women, that should be birth control enough, okay? Um... I still didn't have to do that, so it was much easier. Now it's a lot more difficult for me, and my OCD just flares up now. So I have just been writing it down, and that has helped me. And and now that I'm aware of that, I'm aware, so that's the first motivation, it's helped me to do my second one. And the second one, though, is much harder because you actually have to do it. And that part is in within you. If you are motivated hard enough, if you are willing to put in the effort then you will do the second motivation. So to answer your question, it's up to you. Like I said earlier, it's up to you. You need to want it. I think some people are just not ready to do number two yet. Oh, that didn't sound right, to do number two. Um, second motivation. Uh, they're not ready to do the second motivation yet. And maybe they will be tomorrow. Maybe they will be Thursday. But I think when you start to get to know yourself, then, then it will. <sighs> I think also people lose weight and they'll gain it back because they haven't fixed the mental health. So I know some people who've lost 50 pounds, 40 pounds, 30 pounds, you know, 
but they're going to get it back because they haven't fixed this yet. And that's where I come. I need to fix this. I can't be on a diet, okay? Diet's a short-term thing, okay? I can't just lose weight and then go back to the habits I, I created. Um, and when I come back from break, from break, when I come back from vacation, I'm going to discuss why I'm not doing Weight Watchers anymore. I'm 98% sure I'm not going to do Weight Watchers. Yeah. Like, I'm just not going to do it. And it's not because I dislike the program. It's just because it's not for me. But I'll discuss that when I come back. But I think, I think with the help of journaling and getting to know yourself, that will help you with the long term of staying healthy and staying at that consistent weight that you want to be. I don't like these things where, and and the other things where I don't, you know, that's a, that's another video. Let's do that in another video. So I think what you, if you're struggling and you're like, what motivates me, fat mama, let me tell you something. Perhaps get a notebook. Right? Something's on my lip. Write down your emotions when something's going really bad and you really want food or you're feeling lazy. Write that down. Find yourself. It's okay for this process to be slow. It is okay. Because if you're going slower, then probably 90% of the time, you're going to be more successful long term. I mean, we're not that's just how it is. So, find out. Yeah. So, find out what's going on with you. What's that trigger? Why are you doing this? Is it because you're just lazy? You just don't want to do it? Or is something really deep down is, is stopping you? You reach a pro, to a point, but you just can't, you just can't go. You know, and mine is my trigger word. And the, and the fact is I am scared to, to, to fail, so I make myself fail. You know? So that is, that's huge for me. So I need you to find out what motivates you. Write that, you know, figure that out in your journal. And then actually get so motivated that you have to put in the effort. If you only do half the effort, you get half of the results. And we want the full results. So let's put all of our effort and all of our energy into it. Okay, guys, I know this was kind of off topic a little bit. As you know, that's how I am. But sh I'm trying to do this video, and um, when I was trying to put my camera up and stuff, she was getting really, really loud, and she was going all over the place and climbing all over me. And when I'm in a work mode, you know, it just agitates me a little bit, so my OCD. And that's just real life, you guys. This is what I have to deal with and the struggles I have to deal with. Um just to be successful for the day and to lose weight. And I'm dealing with it so much better now. And um, I do get agitated though. Um, and where I have to like literally leave and just sit still, like go to the bathroom for five minutes and just take a breather. It is not her fault. And so I don't want to take it out on her because I want me and Devin to have a great relationship. And that it comes with food because I also want Devin to have a good relationship with food and not have a relationship like I did with it. So I'm really trying to do the best I can and sometimes I overdo it. I do try to do too much. And so, like I said with the journaling, I know I'm, I'm like, you're like, yes, I know with the journaling, but I learned that too with the journaling. It's just to do, oh, you need to, you pooped. Okay, I really got going now. So, um, yeah, you pooped. Did you poop? I know. Yes, you did poop. Anyways, so I I just learned so much from journaling, guys. And maybe, perhaps, if you guys find um, the time, just to write down something at the end of the night or something. If you don't feel like um, tracking your emotions, maybe doing that, and that will help. But it's really within you. you got to figure out what motivates you. What's going to help you do that second motivation? So with that, I'm going to leave you guys here. Um... I'm so sorry, my head, my mind is just like all over the place. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Share as always. And I hope you guys all have a good morning, good night, good day, wherever your little souls are at. Bye, healthy buddies.